Hi, welcome to the Article Idea software. I hope you get a lot of good use out of this software. I use it all the time to help me write articles about topics that I don't know much about. And this software pulls text from other sites based on the keywords that you enter. And you can then take this text and rewrite it in your own articles or blog posts. Okay, let's get started. At the top of the screen, you have the main topic box and the subtopic box. All you need to do is click in the main topic box and type in a keyword and then click in the subtopic box and type in a secondary keyword. After your keywords are in, you click on the go button. Software then goes out and finds pages that contain those keywords and pulls random paragraphs from those pages into the text box on the bottom half of the screen. If you click on the cited text button or tab, you'll see the text and where the text came from. I'll show you an example of that in just a minute. And you can either wait for the software to finish searching for results or you can stop the software from searching by clicking on the uh, stop button which is slightly off the screen here. Let me see if I can reach it for you. You'll see it when we get going. I'll point it out to you. Let me put this back. There we go. Okay, and if the software is not returning the results that you think are relevant, go ahead and stop the software and try a different combination of words. I'm going to give you some examples of words that work and words that don't. Um, let's try this one first. Uh, Yorkie. In case you don't know, a Yorkie is a small, uh, small breed of dog. So I'll type in Yorkie with no subtopic and I will click go. There's the red X that stops the process. Now right now it's searching for pages that have the word Yorkie in them and it's bringing back the page URL as well as some random text off of that page. Now it's going to keep going until it exhausts uh, quite a few sites. You see it's still checking. And these are a lot of uh, good paragraphs that you can use. You can rewrite them. Like I said before, rewrite them. Never copy these directly and put them into a web page. That can get you in a lot of trouble. So go ahead and rewrite everything that you find here to create your own unique articles. If you use the plain text button, it's kind of all stuck together and you can't tell what's what very well. So I always go to the cited text page. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm going to hit the stop button. Here's the red stop button up here. And as you can see, it pulled quite a bit of information about Yorkies. Definitely enough to write a 600 word article in. Okay, now let's try another one. We will do Yorkie. And then let's say I want to know about grooming a Yorkie. So I'll type groom in the subtopic box. And then I will, let me clear this text first. I'll click go. Now it's pulling pages that have the word grooming and Yorkie in them. So here's grooming a Yorkie, grooming, and this is from Yorkie Nation. So this is all very relevant text. And it's still searching, still finding more, how to train your Yorkie. It's all about Yorkies and grooming. Okay, that's another good one. I'm going to stop by hitting the red X because I think I have enough of this demonstration. Good information to write an article with. Okay, another word that works, let's say cat. Cat is very general. I'll get rid of the word groom, clear the text, and click go. Of course I'm going to get a ton of information about cats. many many pages a lot of which won't be useful because it's just too general what warrior cat are you which breed of cat are you what breed of cat are you quiz so a lot of that is just not helpful because it's just too general so let's stop that hitting the red X now let's say I want to know about training a cat let me clear this text so I'll type cat in the main topic and in the subtopic I'll type in training. Hit the go.
Now right away we see a big difference. We're getting cat obedience training. We're getting cat care site. We're getting cat and kittens training. Getting clicker training for cats and kittens. Much better results. I'm going to hit the stop button here. I think I have enough. New cat care, cat training, training you to train your cat. Cat training, training your dog to get along with cats. There's a lot of information here and certainly you can find enough to rewrite into your own words to make an article about cat training. If you wanted to sell a, a cat training ebook or just make uh, AdSense income off of a cat training blog. Now there of course are words that won't work or phrases that won't work. Let me clear this text. Clear the boxes. For instance if I wanted to know about grooming a Yorkie. Remember earlier we typed grooming into the subtopic or groom into the subtopic and Yorkie into the main topic. What if I typed into the main topic groom or Yorkie grooming and let's just see what happened. Hit the go button and not much. See it's finished but it found nothing nothing whatsoever. But if you just change that and leave Yorkie in the main topic and groom in the subtopic as we did earlier you get a lot of information all about grooming a Yorkie. So my point is if the words that you're typing in are not getting results or they're getting strange results rearrange your keywords until you find the right combination and you will get information almost every time on just about any conceivable topic. Well this wraps up this video. I hope you find this software useful and I hope that you use this a lot. I use this software almost every day to help me write articles. Good luck and remember nothing will happen unless you take action. This is Sarah signing off for now. Take care.